might say that I'm a loner. What is up, my real men and women? If you're here and expecting the usual fishing vlog this week, you're not going to get it, I'm afraid. Because for today, I feel like inspiring someone today. I'm in the mood for teaching. But I promise you that usual service will resume very soon. And there, I will announce the winner of our competition. But for now, you be follow me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to make the most simplest of cart rigs that there is. Hair rig is quite simple. We need some hook link. Now you can use any types of hook links that you want to use. It's simple to get your head around this, it really is. If you're fishing somewhere that's got a nice sandy bottom, then you can use something like this, which is a monofilament. But as I fish as a river, there's a lot of snags on the river, you see? And I need something that's very strong. So I'm using the braid from Corda. Obviously what you really do need is some hooks. Now, there's again a great variety of hooks that um, you can choose from. Now, it all depends on your size of baits. If you want to catch the big fish, then you want to use the big hooks. If you're going to catch the smaller fish, then you might want to use the smaller hooks. So, first thing I'm going to do, see? We're going to cut this like that, see? See that? Now, if you're fishing on a lake, see? You can make a nice, shorter hook link, see? Like that, see? And then, when the fish grabs that, see, but he grabs that, and the lead's like, like here, see, and he gets snagged on that lead, and then he self hooked himself, see. Use the short links. And if you're going on the river, use the long. So what you just want to do is just pinch the braid together, like that, make them friends, see, happy little friends. Now, twist this over and just tie it over here, and that. Wrap it twice, and there you go, see? Nice little loop there to pull your baits on with. We will get our baits, <laughs> and we're going to get our little drill for ten little heads. I'm going to get our little tool, and we're going to stab it straight through the heart of the bait until it's dead. Now the next step to this little doohickey is we're going to get this little doohickey thread it through the hole like that and then we're gonna thread on the bait straight onto our hook link like that and then we're gonna get one of these little tiny piddly doohickeys oh bait stop where do thou go when i drop you in the dark it is not in this dimension for I cannot find you anywhere. And now we're gonna stick it through this hole. And pull the line nice and tight. Now that's dangling there like a, like a dangly thing. Trust me, now you wanna get your braid and we're just gonna thread it through the back of the eye like that. And now ideally, the ideal place for this heel dicky is to sort of have it where it's just touching the bottom of the hook and then that way it's not going to tangle you see that it's not tangling it's not but you don't want it too tight no not too tight so now that we got the bread would you back off the hook we're gonna whip it seven times it's easy to remember it's just like that movie you know snow white and seven little people no, you can't call them that no more. Now what you want to do, you want to, you want to get your hook length, see? And you want to, you want to stick that hook length, see? Through the back of your carp hook, see? Like this, see? And then we pull that up like that, see? See, like that. And now, you've created your first week, see? Look at what we've created. 
It's a vortex. I can see into the future. Ooh, wow, you 